Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jeevan Tamang and in this video we're going to be reacting to Amor part 3 of episode 1 and uh, yeah, I just re I just watched part 2 and I'm doing part 3 immediately after that because I just wanted to complete a series. I just didn't, didn't want to wait for long, you know, so yeah, we're going to be watching this. Uh, so I think I've enjoyed quite uh, it quite good. So I think by the time that this video would be uploaded, I think part 2 would have been uploaded like hours ago. So yeah. Uh, yeah, before getting into the video, if you're new to this channel, then please subscribe, share to the notifications on. If you have any other recommendation, let me know in the comment box below. And yeah, uh, if you want to watch my reaction to part 1 and part 2, link in the description below or in pinned comment. You guys can go and watch it. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook page, everything, link is in the description below. Now, without any delay, let's just get into this reaction. <laughs> Sir, who are you? So, oh, the quality here, they look so much like much better. This must have been shop with quarantine. Oh, they are cross dressers. Okay. So you know, all right. <laughs> Toxic beauty. <laughs> oh, that girl is savage, and I like Zed. I like Zed. I love Zed. He ain't gonna choose any of you. He's gonna choose the boy. He paid for it. Exactly. And I don't understand why they didn't sleep in the, you know, the second uh, second bed that was above it. Like really, why do you have to sleep on the floor? He's arrogant. And I don't like I don't I don't fucks with it. You better not throw that, okay? Because I'm, I'm standing after that.
He's gonna go into another room. What? Okay, I kind of knew that. Such a good timing, though. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, you know when I was uh, when uh, you know he said that uh, I'm a, when, I'm, when my uncle's gonna come, you're gonna have to go out of this room. I thought that who is this uncle? But then I realized that he's actually referring to Madame Tusha as a, as a, you know his uh, uncle, which I feel is uh, kind of wrong. You know when a person uh, you know changes their gender, I don't know if she is just a tr you know uh, if she has not fully transformed into a woman or she's in the process or she just uh, cross dressing. I don't know that. But what I'm saying is, it's, if the person prefers a particular gender, like if, if person prefers, you know, everyone calling them as C, then I think we should respect that and we should call that as, you know, calling them he is kind of disrespectful. That's all I'm saying, okay? So you need to be careful about what pronouns you're using because that plays a very important role. You know, when we are in like... Like in normal environment, I don't think it plays uh, such a big role. But when you are in big platforms, then you cannot just be so uh, careless about the pronouns that you'll be using using against trans people. Especially, it should be the pronouns like some people would prefer they instead of he or she. So we need to be careful about the pronouns. So that was just me educating for you, you guys for one minute. Mm. Oh god, he doesn't like it. Yes! That's your fault. Yes, madam. <laughs> oh God, can you just address her properly? That's disrespectful. Oh, Joey's like a little puppy here. Oh, the biggest puppy here is the, you know, the guy, this guy, the boyfriend thing. Oh God, sweetie, you don't want to do that. Oh, that's rude. You know, when people approach like that with me, I do... I, I know I don't I'm not real like that I definitely you know respond but I do create a barrier between me and that person you know so that there's a line you cannot cross that at all and in my current state I am creating the line with every each and every other person because I just don't want to be involved with anyone right now same I'm not interested in anyone I thought Joey was also gonna be in this. Oh, they're gonna come late, aren't they? Oh, he's announcing like he's announcing the winner of the Miss Miss World. Poor 
You can stuff your English up in your ass, okay? And, and you know, stop being rude. If he wants to be in the bottom bed, just give him, just be on the top, okay? Why are you so rude? I'm siding with Joy on this one. He got intimidated because he got the clothes. They have a very small room. Uh, Will's room was very big, like he had the whole flat thing. Oh god, who is that now? But another character. He's being involved with every other guy. Now I'm starting to worry about him. Like. He's kind. I like that. I would be like, sorry, and bye bye. I would just run away. <laughs> You're in the same class. Ooh. It's kind of predictable, the show. Nuan, Joy, Will, and Jimmy, and Madam Tusha. That's all I know as of now. So Jimmy's not coming to the class. I want hamburger. I thought Jimmy was also going to be in the same class. What did he? Oh. Did he br brought the bags with the clothes filled and not the another bag? Oh fuck. <laughs> He's screwed. Oh god, it's embarrassing. I would never open that in front of the classroom. Oh. This is like some next level shit. I kind of knew, like, I would not say I kind of knew, but you know, they were pausing on the bag so much, like, I felt like the bag definitely has to do something. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. I feel sorry for him. <gasps> is that a cop? Is that a condom? Because it feel it is definitely a condom. Why would you keep a condom in a bag? Why? Like, I understand the pockets and shits, but even if it was there, why would you just take it out? Like, be smart! Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's getting uh, hot right here. You can 
be angry at them. That's kind of your fault. Why would you put condom? Now put it in the bag already. You're just keeping it out. Or either just get up and stand. Condom is necessary. You need to wear condom before sex so that you can prevent being pregnant. Oh, you know, it's the first day and the impression was bad. I, I understand how it feels like. Oh! Oh, damn, I forgot. It's his bag, like Jimmy's bag. Oh, I'm so sorry. You kind of, you didn't knew, but you didn't have to take it out from the bag. Like literally, while taking it out, you'd have known that that's a, it's a condom. So why take it out of the bag? Like it's a dumb move. Oh no, if I'm gonna carry a new bag which is not mine, I'd feel it, okay? Even if I'm not seeing it, I'd feel it. Like from the touch of my bag, I'd feel it like it's my bag or not. Because it, you, you're carrying it every day, so... When? And it all got ruined. Oh, there it comes. There they come. Please don't be too over dramatic. I don't want that. <laughs> oh. oh, they're gonna be best friends. I don't know why I feel like a squad feeling. I've already got that got in this. Oh please, no. Having a condom in a bag doesn't make you pervert. It makes you, uh, what should I say, smart? Like, you never know what, what would happen, but still, I don't think hookup is a really good thing. But, I mean, it's not really safe. I think I ignored real bad. I would just walk out of there if I was in the place. He just said that to protect himself. Okay. Ooh, ah, I would not never do that. That's good, so. Excuse me, sir!
Okay, so much is happening. I cannot wait for the next episode. The hate is gonna turn into love. No quite wait. Okay, so these are the main so we know Nuon, we know Joey, we know Jimmy, we know Will. Who is that guy? We don't know. We'll see in the next episode. So that was my reaction for Amore Pilot episode part 3 of 3. If you like this reaction, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment what image reaction next. Subscribe, check the notifications on. And I'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.